tide of fear rising in Dumaguete land. The Dumaguete has been living on the banks of the Kaliwa River for centuries, and swimming is second nature to them. Yet they are a great essay, along with their ancestral domain, their culture and traditions, will be drowned in the planned Kaliwa Dam, a project of the Metropolitan Waterworks and Square System, to be built with an T-18.7, Python Dillon Lung from China. We will drown they say it will be the second Python year old Eric John Lane, who lives with his family near the Kaliwa River. The river, which is to be the dam's main water source, flows between the towns of Infanta and General Maker in Pizan Province, on the boundaries of Sarani, Pasan, Dehan and Mexate. Beside it lies the city of Cordero, the ground zero of the proposed dam. When the dam is built, huge concrete walls will replace the bucolic scenery, forcing the indigenous people whose very lives are anchored on the forest and the river to change the way they live. Like birds in a cage daily, the residents of Cordero the food to the river banks to catch fish for their food and livelihood, do their laundry and groom their horses while their children frolic nearby. They also use the river to transport their goods and travel to the other side of the mountains. The forest is likewise crucial to the Dumas' daily needs. They depend on the fertile soil to plant coconuts, mangoes, bananas and taro. They gather wild honey, raise chickens and hunt wild boar for food. If the government proceeds with the construction of Kaliwa Dam, we will lose our freedom and our rights to our own grounds that were cultivated by our ancestors, said City of Baker Chief Rodrigo System. The government's relocation plans will make them like birds put in a cage, he said. Cradling her year-old daughter Anna, Junlin Kenamendi expressed strong opposition to the dam as she and her husband Jun fish in the river. This is our market, she said. This is where we look for food. Kaliwa Dam, scheduled for completion by 2023 to complement the Met Dam in Bulacan, is envisioned to boost water supply to Metro Manila and the provinces of Bulacan, Rizal and Cavite. We will die, but according to a study made by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, the indigenous people living near the Kaliwa River will be displaced once construction of the dam begins. Ultimately, their ancestral lands as well as their sacred and burial grounds will be submerged. We will die if the dam is still, says Gloria Zeller 44, a resident of City Yoklok. The indigenous folk resistance to the project was clear in the banners posted on Tree Trump and Hut, I am Naman Sakaliwa Dam. Iblan Nanami Nuitang Minuno. According to Naked Ada Chief Joel Atusa, Four out of six clusters opposed the construction of the dam during the recently held assembly under the free and prior informed consent. Six, process. Two set of clusters against the project were the Menanga, Hassan Dehan, Bebe and Umare, and the clusters of Kadleo and Mayo they have yet to decide on the matter. But it's too to say that even before the conclusion of the trip, Chinese engineers escorted by the Philippine National Police Special Action Force were already surveying City of Cataleo, and stone markers were being planted into the path, which was in the gap regard as sacred ground. Sixteen, the City of Chief, Abby Bethens had promised them relocation land, scholarship and charts and use prohibited by law, without the stick. We don't need these promises. What we need is our ancestral land, what we have right now, a tooth to said. Said Amy Kenamendi, a resident of Poderosa, I told my children, if the dam is built, we can't go to the river anymore we pray to God, to God who created the water and all these resources, not to allow the dam to be built. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.